Hello everyone, in this tutorial you will learn how to work with Substance Painter textures in Maya using Arnold and I will teach you the render setting and a lot of good stuff in this tutorial. So if you wanna learn something, continue watch this tutorial. So before we go to Maya, let me show you how I export my material in Substance Painter. Just go to the file here in Export Texture. Here you can select the location that you want to um, save your textures. I call it Substance. And you can select the template that you want to uh, save and export. And here just export my maps. And we wait it's 4k it's gonna take a little bit time all right just open it here I have my base color normal map and the roughness map and everything I need to use in art so let's go to Maya here I have a very simple scene here I have a plane and here I have one sphere so for creating a material in Arnold we should select our object right click on it hold it and assign new material and here I just select Arnold and here AI standard surface and here I have my material settings in attribute editor and here you can change the name of your material and I will call it uh, scales so here we have base a specular transmission subsurface and everything uh, I will uh, tell you the important things that you really need to learn and understand in this part okay so let's render our object so we just go to render and here select Arnold and just click on this icon so you, here you have Arnold viewport and if you just uh, click on this play button you will have a render and just go to setting and make sure that you are in a GPU render device in system tab select the GPU and here you can change it to 50 or 100 so now I have I can see my rendering here so if I just select my sphere My, if I select my sphere here I just go to scales and here I have my settings so if I change a color to red you can see uh, my sphere color changed and here you have metalness that gonna make your material fully metal and here you have a specular and it's uh, you have a weight for your specular and you have roughness if your roughness is zero your object is fully reflective so you have a full reflection on your object so if your uh, object don't have uh, glossiness it's fully roughness so if I change the roughness to one I don't have a reflection anymore so it's a rough a specular on my object so I change it to 200 0 200 and here I change the metalness to 0 here you have IOR for your reflection so uh, 
what is IOR exactly? It's a intensity of your reflection on your object. So if I have a IOR 1000, you can see I don't have a lot reflection on my object. So if I change it to 1.800, you can see the reflection is sharp. If I change it to mm, something between that, I have a less reflection that when I go down, you can see I lose my reflection here. So this is a intensity of your reflection on your object, okay? So here you can change uh, rotation for that and these are not important. And here the very important one that we use in this tutorial is the geometry tab. So here you can import your normal map and you can use the normal map for your object. So uh, here in the bump mapping, here you have an icon like a checker just click on it and select the file and here you can change the use as to normal map and if I click here uh, I can select my normal map here just click this folder and come to your substance that you export your maps here I just select the normal and here you can see I have my normal maps here just uh, change a color space to raw and that's what you need to do for the normal maps so that's it guys you can come back if you click here just go back and let's bring our texture that we exported in substance and shade our scales so if I click on this checker here, I can select the file again and I can bring my base color for uh, this object. So yeah, uh, just wait, it's gonna take a little bit time. So I have a lot of glassiness on this object so we have a roughness map also so we just go to our roughness and click this one and select the file and bring our roughness map so here i just have a roughness map open it and the important things for the maps that are not color and they are black and white you should change the color space to raw for them so you should change the color space to raw and one more uh, thing you need to do is go to color space and uh, check alpha is luminous so now you have a right map for your object so that's it and let's uh, see what we have yeah we bring uh, everything and we can change the IOR to uh, maybe this number 1.550 is good and yeah I will show you the subsurface setting and everything else in another tutorial so let's go to render setting and i will explain my render setting for a rendering scene so here in this icon you can see here just click on it you have a render setting window here you have r node render just render using select r node render and here you have a file output you can change uh, image format and if you uh, have animation just uh, select something is not a single frame if I select this one uh, here you can 
change the start frame and end frame so how we render uh, animation after you select this format you just go to render tab and here uh, you have a render sequence here in just click this icon and you can select the output location and just render and save and here you can select your camera also you have here you can uh, renderable camera you can select your camera here and here you can uh, set the image size 2k or 4k 3k you can select the HD formats as this uh, 720 and yeah you can just select whatever you want I select 2k and in the Arnold render if you using GPU you have only camera AA so if I change it to CPU I have a diffuse a specular and other stuff so for my CPU render just five here is enough and four or three for everyone here and you you need to change the ray depth also uh, it's gonna make your render more realistic so what mm, this diffuse gonna do uh, this is gonna this uh, settings here gonna remove your noise in your render so the more number you put here the less noise you will have but you can remove a noise with uh, AOV's denoiser and it's gonna be fine so don't worry about this so here you have a ray depth the more number you put here you will get a more realistic render so I put three for everyone and uh, here if I select the GPU it's just the same but you should put more uh, number here like uh, 30 or 50 something like that but I render with CPU it's my CPU is better than my GPU so I just rendered with my CPU so yeah guys that's it for the render setting our node is very easy to use and that's all you need to know about render setting so here you just go to our node tab and open our node render view so here is our render view and uh, we need to do some settings and here in the view tab you just go to test resolution and make sure your re te test resolution is 100% and here in the render tab make sure your progressive refinement is disabled and here uh, select known for save trees and just you need to use all your CPU so yeah guys that's all you need to do for the render and here you just press this play red play button and just wait for your render so I skip the render time and I will show you the result after everything is finished all right everyone here is our render so this is our finished render here as you can see I have a little bit noise you can remove it just select the denoise AOV and here you have a very clean render so, so if you are looking for a texturing shading and rendering tutorial here is my tutorial in cube brush you can come here and check out I will teach you how to create this realistic a skin for your characters I also teach you how to create thin hairs on the face using XGen I will give you this model and everything you need to learn I will teach you in this uh, tutorial
and yeah guys i will put a link in the description down below you can come here and check out this tutorial so if you want to create a very realistic and advanced character for your portfolio this tutorial will help you to create that result and i will also help you to get the result you want and i will answer your questions and yeah guys go check out this tutorial and cube barrage have a 20 percent off for uh, i think this week and yeah just go and use this code for this tutorial and get the 20 percent off for this tutorial have a great day take care goodbye